Listen, this is Dr. Tayan, and I have a strong message for somebody. I am about to enter work, and it just hit me, actually, while I was getting ready to come here. We all have heard the saying, if you, lo if you love them, then let them go. No, baby. If you love you, then let them go. We got it all backwards. We got it all wrong. We've been so conditioned into believing things that don't serve us. It's not about loving them. That was not the problem in the first place. You didn't lose this person because you loved that person. You lost that person because you didn't love yourself enough. This person came into your life to teach you self-love. So again, if you love you, why owe you? Then let them go. <clears throat> Yesterday, because I'm, you know, coming back into my own, I'll be doing rituals and readings tonight for those that are on the waiting list for theirs to be done. Um, I also have new people that have also ordered readings and rituals. Thank you so much. Thank you for believing in me. But I'm going to leave you with this. And I want you to pay the most undue attention to me right now. It is not about your love for the other person. That was never what was in question. The universe tested you on you, love for you, because you did not love yourself enough that you felt like you had to seek love from outside of you and you felt like this person was the end all, the be all. You are love. Love is never outside of you and all the experiences and all the memories and everything that you have gathered and shared with this person was not because of this person only. It was not because of this person alone. It was your energy that ignited this fire. It was your essence of your very soul that made that relationship. You remove you from the relationship and the relationship is no more anyway. That person walking out of your life, they walked into their journey and their destiny. Love them and send them on their way. Love is not supposed to be possessed. If you really truly love something, you are supposed to let it go. If you truly love someone, you are supposed to let it go. But most importantly, if you love yourself, let it go so the one that is meant for you by divine selection, whether it's a soulmate, a higher level soulmate, or a twin flame, twin soul, can walk in and love you properly. The reason why this person is not in your life is because they did not love you properly. Maybe they didn't know how. And you know what? We can't fight them for that. I'm sure that they did their best. I'm sure that you done your best. And even if they didn't do your be their best, that is none of your concern now. Your concern right now is for you to love you, for you to dote on you. On my Facebook yesterday, I did a free reading for an hour and a half for anyone that was my Facebook friend. And I had someone that private messaged me. Actually, she's my cousin. And she asked me a double question. I said, baby, no, we need one question. And so the question was, <clears throat> when was she going to have a relationship? And I told her, when you leave your baby daddy alone, because right now he's blocking you, you will find your soulmate. Your soulmate will walk in, but he cannot walk in now because the energy of your baby daddy is all in your aura and so ever present. He is taking up so much of your time and your space and he's not even worth it. And she was like, but I love him. Fuck him. Excuse me for being drastic because you guys need to hear this the right way. I'm not sugarcoating it. Fuck loving him. What about loving you? Do he care about the fact that he got you waiting? He does not. He's content because he knows that he can have whatever he's having right now and he has you too. It's summertime, sis. Let that man go. Let him go so you can be with someone who wants to spend summer vacations with you, who wants to take you out, who wants to... We're off of quarantine, most of us. 
You restaurants are open. Hell, even the bars and the clubs are open now. Okay? There's no excuse. And I hate to be so candid, but sometimes you guys, you need to hear it like this. You can't have that sugar coating all love and light and, oh, everything is going to be okay. Oh, you're going to be in reunion. Oh, you're going to get back together. Why would you want someone who don't even want you? I've been there before. And now that I look back on the person that I wanted, I can't even believe that I was even attracted to this person in the first place. But it just shows me where I was vibrating at. Raise your vibration. Most importantly, raise your standards. Because once you level up, you'll also level up in love too. And I am going to go ahead and conclude here. I have to go to work. Namaste.